Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead of August 5th through the 11th, 2019. Watch this reading if you are a Gemini sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign, or if you are a Gemini on the house cusp, or if you have your sun in the third house. We're using the Tarot Mooka today for your reading. We're also going to pull a Power Ball card. This is the uh, Psychic Tarot of Psychic Tarot for the Heart. We're going to pull you an Oracle card at the end for guidance. I'm just calling that the Powerball card at the end of the reading. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for you this coming week, August 5th through the 11th, 2019, for Gemini. Gemini. Show me six cards for Gemini. Shuffle for Gemini. deck we have the world. So something is getting wrapped up. This can be a graduation, learning a major life lesson. You could be dealing with any of the fixed signs, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or Aquarius. So endings and new beginnings, mastering a life lesson, end of, a, end of an era, end of a chapter of your life. You know, it really is a uh, really is beautiful when we get this not only at the bottom of the deck but you know for the whole reading in general the bottom of the the deck really speaks volumes um, Gemini it's like you you have mastered something here something has come full circle you've gotten closure and you're able to move on um, some of you are dealing with a Leo or another fixed sign because I was getting that message pretty strongly while I was shuffling well, let's go ahead and take a look Gemini, how you see yourself today? Ooh, Nine of Cups, beautiful. Yeah, I'm seeing a Gemini here who is quite content. Some of you enjoying a nice cocktail, mixed drink. I'm seeing that Cosmo martini glass there, so I'm just thinking. Um, looking good, feeling good, Gemini. Looking good, feeling good. Feeling quite happy, even if you are on your own or by yourself at this time. I don't feel like that's going to last for long, but I do think that you, I'm seeing a Gemini here who is quite content, quite content, and maybe even celebrating a little bit, or um, I'm sort of seeing this as after the celebration though, but having a good time with, you know, food, wine, and friends, enjoying the company of others. The theme for you this week is the Nine of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. This is a, um, well, I've seen him come up as a Sag energy. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. Someone here, very passionate, very excited about you coming into the picture. Very adventurous type. Um, Knight of Wands, you know, more interested in the one night stand than the long term relationship, but. If, the, if a fling is your kind of thing, also so you could be traveling or in a very adventurous mood. Yeah, this, this knight is ready to go. He is extremely passionate, extremely fired up here. Definitely has the hots for you, Gemini, whoever this is. What is something that Gemini has already learned? Something that Gemini has already learned that will be useful for them to remember this week. Nine of coins, I can do it on my own. Financial security, stability here, freedom, independence. 
Uh, I distinctly remember this card coming up for you last week, uh, but I believe it came up in the reverse position in here. So, learning to be confident, happy on your own. Also, this speaks to financial and emotional independence, freedom. Two of these cards here, nine is a wonderful master number in numerology. It speaks to wholeness, completion, and perfection. So if you're looking for perfection, guys, look no further. Gemini has it. Gemini has it right now. Um, I'm also seeing the coins look good. The coins are looking very good this week. Continue going down that path. It looks good for you. Um, the challenge you'll be facing definitely could be dealing with a Leo here. We've got the strength card in the challenge position. You know, it's just saying be confident, be kind, be compassionate. Um, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. So that whole song basically applies. Uh, to this reading from what I'm seeing, but in a challenge position, I read the strength record in reverse. So this can be, you know, just feeling confident, having good self-esteem, um, going for what you want, not holding back, um, letting go of control when it comes to if there's a power struggle between you and someone else. But it's also about taming your impulses you know, taming the beast here. So not letting the ego take over, finding a healthy balance there. Um, it's very lustful energy. So not letting, you know, your lust, your passion, um, motive be your entire motivation. There may, you may need to kind of, um, step on the brakes when it comes to that, or there could also be a challenge around compulsive energy doing things compulsively, um, doing things um, even when we don't feel confident, or building up our confidence. Okay, this is looking very good, Gemini. Uh, the lesson you're learning now, Empress. Alright, so the divine feminine counterpart to the Emperor, the feminine archetype of motherhood, beauty, ruled by Venus. Um, I'm definitely getting, you know, pamper yourself, put yourself first. You are it. You are it. You represent the epitome of love, beauty, um, desirability. And so the lesson here is about abundance, your own abundance. You, you created this life for yourself. You created what you see before you. So you deserve the very best that life has to offer. Um, don't forget that. Don't forget that. And the gift you will receive, we have the Seven of Swords. I see a Gemini here who can be clever, strategic, stealthy. Um, you are coming across as someone who is a true, uh, I want to say like a lethal weapon, but you, you're, you know, your weapon is here, your strategic mind. You know that you have to like watch your back. You know, you have to keep your hand on the swivel here. So the Seven of Swords is guaranteeing, Gemini, that you, you will be able to get what you want. Um, you have the mind, you have the game strategy here, you've got the stealth moves. Um, you know, you're able to kind of get your way, is basically what I'm seeing. Um, so, yes, Gemini, this looks very good. Uh, if there's something that you that you want to get away with or that you are trying to get away with, I feel like there's no chance in hell that you're going to get caught. You're definitely going to get your way. That's because you have strategy. You're thinking about this. 
you know what you want to do, you know what you need to do, and you know how you know how you need to do it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your Powerball card. What is Gemini's guidance for the week ahead? Powerball. Gemini. Teach and Master. Okay, so here are Font and the Devil and the Major Arcana, Taurus and Capricorn Energy, both Earth sign energies. Um, I feel, Gemini, you can teach someone a lesson this week. You are also someone who is being sought after for your knowledge. Um, you come across as someone that has a lot to offer the world when it comes to lessons you've learned. Okay, and we also have here master. So, interesting. Um, this is just a reminder not to let fear take over, you know, fear is the opposite of love. So if it is love that you want, remember the fear is the opposite of that. They're mutually exclusive. Um, on the other hand, um, I think you have the opportunity to teach someone about how fear can really hold them back when it comes to love. You can also, this may be an experience that you've had, um, you know, regarding toxic relationships, codependent, codependency, um, you know, addictions of any kind. You have a lot to offer when it comes to your knowledge, your mastery. You're coming across as extremely powerful um, this week, Gemini. So, thank you guys for tuning in for this weekly reading. If you would like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Please, uh, if you would like to book a private reading with me, my information is below in the description. Have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.